You're listening to Travel Nursing and Allied Life, hosted by Travel. Hey, Nomads, this is Dylan Callier, and I'm a traveling physical therapist best known for the new medical Nomads podcast. I'm sitting down with TravCon speakers to give you a sneak peek into what they'll be talking about at the conference this year. My next guest has spent 16 years in the healthcare staffing industry, first as a recruiter and now as a regional manager with Arius Medical Group. His wealth of knowledge acquired from his years of building relationships with nurses and hospital hiring managers has given him a broad perspective on travel health care. His experience has enabled him to share best practices with travelers in the field and to the recruiters that he now coaches. He has served as a TravCon panelist and as a speaker during the Staffing Industry Analysts Healthcare Staffing Summit, also known as SIA. And this year, he is a virtual speaker for TravCon 2021. In a session, Travel Nurse Insider, What Agencies Teach Their Recruiters, will be available online after TravCon September 26th to the 29th, 2021 in Las Vegas. Ladies and gentlemen, Jeff West. Hey, thanks, man. That was nice. Absolutely. Welcome (laughs) on, Jeff. Um, So, so excited to talk about your session that's coming up, especially that it's going to be a virtual session for those that do order um, and go to TravCon and get the tickets. It will be available for you after the conference. If you're unable to make the conference this year, it is also online for a very cheap price. Go check it out at travcon.org. But Jeff, tell us a little bit about yourself. You've been in the game for um, a little bit and um, now you're in kind of the leader management role and kind of teaching the next wave of recruiters to come on and help us travelers. But tell us how you got started. Uh, well, I got started. Uh, my dad told me to get a job with benefits. So uh, <laughs> That's what uh, got me into this, uh, in the world of staffing. I um, was actually a broadcasting major with a minor in communications and, um, you know, decided to not work a day in broadcasting (laughs) and just go get a job after college. And so uh, I had some friends actually working at Arius. And so I applied there. Um, And uh, yeah, it was, it was crazy. It's over 16 years ago now. So I uh, I was an account manager and team lead, ran a desk for about seven and a half years. Um, was placed in seventeen different states and and um, you know uh, had a good run at that, and then been in uh, branch manager and regional manager leadership roles uh, since then. So uh, you know, and recently we've come together and joined forces with Medical Solutions, and so uh, it's been fun uh, coming together and and learning medical solutions side and, and uh, putting best practices together as well. Awesome. Awesome. And I know Arius was um, fairly unique in this. I know some other staffing agencies also did it, but um, you were running, it sounds like not only were you communicating with travelers, but you're also communicating with the facilities, whereas some agencies will kind of separate those two out um, into one that only, you know, communicates with the travelers and one that only communicates with the clients or the, um, hospitals, facilities. Um, So I'm sure that gave you a lot of experience and uh, might've been a little overwhelming at times. (laughs) Yes. Yeah. It's uh, it definitely, when you, when you work both sides of the, you know, the hospital um, and working with the clients and then working with the candidates, when you're doing both, you know, simultaneously um, you you, uh, hear all all the, all the great things and, and challenges as you work through, you know, different assignments and, and, uh, but it, it was good. It, it uh, you know, made the days fly by and, and all the experiences that much more great. Absolutely. Well, what, um, making the jump into management, what have been some of the more rewarding pieces of that? Um, I know it's a big ask going from just running a desk to now running or helping, you know, 13 odd recruiters run their own desks. How is that transition? Um, I mean, it's, it's, it's awesome. I, I love the the relationship building side um, for for both you know leading leading teams of account managers and recruiters, but then also you know um, running a desk and the relationship building side of of all of the nurses that were on assignment with me. You know, I mean, you uh, you get invited to weddings and and um, you know you, you you help people you know, find jobs nationwide, which, I mean, that's very rewarding. And, and then you, you teach others how to do the same thing and, and the best practices. And um, yeah, it's, uh, it's just as rewarding on, on the leadership side 
Um, when, you know, when you get to find, you know, some people, you know, some of them are fresh out of college, just like I was, you know, and, and uh, getting a job with benefits and, and you teach them, you know, just the ins and outs of the industry that when I applied at Arius, I didn't know existed. And, you know, over the last 16 years, the growth of the industry just collectively is uh, huge. So, um, you know, it's, it's one of those things that if you have good, strong relationship building skills and you have a passion for what you do and helping others and helping hospitals and you can get pretty good at it and, and uh, help a lot of people out. Very cool. And I'm very excited for, to hear your um, session this year virtually about what agencies are teaching their recruiters. Um, I know there are practices that, I mean, if, if you're kind of as a traveler and you're running into um, some maybe miscommunications with your recruiter, some of that's just kind of um, part of the game, but also some of it might just be things that they're being taught. Uh, from the leadership level, but you're going to give us a sneak peek into what that looks like, especially what you've been doing and the best practices you've been working on. But what's one big tip um, or one big takeaway you would love travelers to leave after listening to your session? Yeah, I'm, I'm super excited about the, you know, the what agencies teach their recruiters is, is, uh, is what we'll be talking about. And I'm really, really excited about, you know, just being, being as transparent as possible with, with everyone you know, in the industry on, on all of the things that go into running a desk. And I mean, I, I think one of the biggest things is clear and effective communication. And, and that's what makes every relationship great. And, and having that trust, you know, cause you know, if you don't have trust, what's really the point of, of anything, right. You know, so, um, and how you build that trust over time, you know, and, and in the world of, you know, uh, messenger and text messaging and email, you know, sometimes a good conversation gets lost, you know, and, um, and that's really the best way to build a relationship. And, and so um, that's, that's one of the big points that I, I like diving into is the importance of relationship building and how to build good, strong relationships that are long lasting, you know, because every, every goal for every recruiter out there and account manager should be, I don't want to work with you just for a 13 week assignment, you know, I want to work with you for years, you know, and, and how do you do that? And that's, what's, that's, what's fun to teach. Well, awesome. Well, Jeff, I'm very excited to listen to that and more. Um, if you are listening to this show now, um, you can find Jeff's session, um, the travel nurse insider, what agencies are teaching their recruiters after TravCon this year in 2021. Again, every year um, TravCon happens in September. This year is between September 26th and the 29th. And every year it is in Las Vegas. Again, if you are looking to take advantage of the virtual session, um, you can catch it afterwards if you're a conference attendee, or if you're unable to make the conference this year, you can purchase it separately at travcon.org. But thanks so much, Jeff, for bringing your knowledge and everything else along with this session. I'm very excited to have you. Appreciate it. Thank you, Dylan. Thanks for listening to Travel Nursing and Allied Life. You can find the full show notes below or at travcon.org. Please help us out by rating our podcast on iTunes or wherever you get your podcasts. 